What is good ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the YouTube channel, and yes, I have a new microphone. We finally have some decent audio, which is fantastic, which is perfect timing for today's video. In case you are not aware, 343 Industries released a hell of a lot of new info regarding the Zeta Halo ring and how the game is going to work over on Inside Infinite last night. Unfortunately, I couldn't cover it last night because I was already asleep because, you know, it was pretty late here and... I had things to do. But in any case, I'm covering it now, so let's go through some of the screenshots that was posted, more importantly, all the other information you can find on channels such as Halo Follower, as well as Custom Chief and Ultimate Halo, just to name a few. So go and check those guys out if you want a more in-depth look at it, but today, we're going to be focusing on the screenshots that they released for us in Inside Infinite. So one of the main screenshots that I saw, and one of the ones that I'm really, really excited about, is a screenshot that was actually from in-game with the HUD and the sniper rifle, We're looking at some form of structure that was in front of them, and you just see a massive difference from what the July reveal was to what it is today. Now, just looking at his screenshot, I've got it here on my right, you've got it on your screen. You can see that the sniper rifle has taken a very distinct design, like kind of mishmash from Halo 3 and Halo Reach. Now, it looks really, really cool. The detail on the gun straight away shows that they've been overhauling the graphics and working on this game like crazy. This is why they delayed it. They wanted it to look perfect. They wanted everything to be squeaky clean. And also among the like graphics, I mean the rocks look beautiful, the grassland looks beautiful. They've also changed the heads up display ever so slightly from what it was in the July reveal. If you look in the bottom right hand corner, you can see your ammo counter. And instead of having your armor ability and grenades and things like that to the left of it, they've moved them above where your weapon is on the heads up display. So in a way it takes up less space at the bottom of your heads up display, which is really nice. I think that looks absolutely fantastic. And as well as that, all the reflections and the lighting, it just looks so much better than what the July reveal was. So that is already a fantastic start. Considering this delay, we hadn't seen anything really in game. That one screenshot screams at me that they have worked their asses off to get this to be the game that they wanted. Among those screenshots, we also saw a screenshot of a banished outpost from both the outside and the inside, which is very, very interesting because this, to me, makes me think that they're going for some kind of Far Cry approach, where you approach outposts and then you take them over and then that unlocks a certain part of the map. I don't know if that's the case, but from what I can see, these banished outposts are either like places that you can then use to upgrade your weapons or things like that, or maybe they'll be used to unlock larger areas of the map, similar to how Far Cry works. I don't know yet, but it just looks cool. The banished outpost itself looks incredible, and then you also see the interior of it. It looks absolutely fantastic. It's glowing red like the banished, the colors of the banished, and it looks like there's a lot to explore in this freaking massive world. And as well as that, we also see another screenshot of the warthog and like the, the marshlands, the grass, the rocks, the metallic stuff, and the draw distance is incredible. It looks absolutely insane. The work they've done this is insane. The one thing to bear in mind is that this is on PC, so don't take it for granted that this is what it's going to look like on your Xbox Series X, and certainly not on your Xbox One, because it says at the bottom, campaign, work in progress, PC. So if they play it on PC and they show the screenshots on PC, that is where the game is going to look its absolute best. So make sure that you take that into account. We also get our first look at the banished banshees flying through in this screenshot here. You see again, some more rockery, some more trees, some more like landscape and wildlife, things like that. But you've also got the halo ring in the distance that's also smashed up and destroyed. And also we've got two banshees and they look pretty sexy, I'm not gonna lie. The like, like orangey red glow to them, they look really, really nice, really sleek, very, very much banished design. And it's basically confirmed that the um, Banshees are definitely in the game. Although they had already confirmed that like verbally with the whole grapple hook. So you can like skyjack and things like that. But now we've seen a screenshot of these Banshees in action. And they look incredible. So that is a good sign. We also got a screenshot which shows the day and night cycle. The time of day. And I'm looking at it here and it shows different weather. You've got clear day, cloudy day. You've got sunrise, sunset, night time. It looks absolutely stunning. They're using the same Forerunner structure, which showcases the lighting that they've improved, showcases the, the just the landscape in general. It looks absolutely fantastic. They've really, really taken their time 
on this game to make it look graphically beautiful because they did release a statement saying that all of the content was already in the game all they had to do was fine tune uh, make some graphical overhauls and do bug fixes so this entire year span of the uh, delayed release is all being spent to fine tune the graphics to make it look as best as it possibly can make sure the mechanics are working perfectly doing bug fixes and making sure that you know you don't have clouds popping up in the middle of nowhere and things like that so overall this episode of inside infinite that 343 have released has been really really eye-opening really interesting we've got to see a new weapon actually in master chief's hands we also got to see a lot of the lighting details that have been overhauled the graphical overhauls the warthog overhaul as well it looks really really nice we've seen so many things here and it's made me so so excited for infinite now i originally put my faith in 343 and then at july's reveal i was kind of 50 50 it looks a bit plasticky and things like that but with this it looks so much better and i think they've really listened to the fans this time and the art design has definitely taken a bit of inspiration from halo reach and halo 3 and bungie's overall art design which is a really really good sign in my books as an overall look at it it looks like 343 have gone in the right direction it looks like 343 have done what they set out to do and that is overhaul this game so it looks the best plays the best sounds the best because next episode of m5 because the next episode of Inside Infinite is focusing on the sound design team. So I'm intrigued to see what they've done there. Maybe they've overhauled some of the sounds because a lot of people weren't happy with the sound of the assault rifle. So who knows, they might have changed some of the sounds up and they might give us a few MP3 files, some video clips, who knows. But until that episode, we won't know for sure. But this is already a step in the right direction, in my opinion. And I think that this is fantastic for Halo and it's giving me hope that Halo Infinite still can be an incredible game but on that beautiful note that is going to wrap this video up i hope you have enjoyed if you did leave a like down below it means a lot to me make sure you subscribe if you're new to the channel and you want to see some more halo content remember that i live stream almost every day playing halo mcc halo 5 guardians maybe even some halo wars if i'm feeling up to it so you're more than welcome to jump in the stream say hello and chill out with me and some other viewers for a bit so uh, make sure you stick around for them quick heads up the next video you're going to see on the channel which is probably me tomorrow the audio is not going to be like this because my mic arrived today and i recorded that video before the mic arrived so don't worry this is going to be the audio quality from now on so this is good stuff but thank you for checking it out it's been a pleasure make sure you look after yourselves and all that malarkey and i'll catch you all in the next video take care my friends stay safe tatty bye